This is a Chucky Beat production. Alright, what's happening, y'all? I really wanted to talk to you all quickly about confidence. And as I think about myself, I used to love playing basketball and I used to be very confident when I would go on, step onto the court when I was younger. But certain changes started happening in my life or what have you that caused me to not be able to be as confident, right? But it's funny because then all of a sudden my confidence went from, from basketball and then switched over to track and field to where I became very confident, okay? And I was able to eventually become All-American in track and field. But I also experienced things like going through a divorce, which kind of like gave me a serious knock as far as my confidence and and my self-esteem. And so I I wanna kinda get you to the point because I know that some of you all, some of you are confident and don't know why. And the others of you are lack confidence and you're trying to figure out how do you get that confidence back all right some of you may never have had confidence some of you might have had confidence in the past but lost it so let's talk about this for a little bit so when I think about confidence that some of the definitions that I read were this pay attention it says that the feeling or belief confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something another definition states that the it is the state of feeling certain about the truth of something and another one says it is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities so what I want you to pay attention to is that when we talk about confidence confidence is not necessarily a thing that you can it's not this tangible thing that you can put your hands on but notice how it's described as a feeling and it's also described as a belief which means that confidence is largely something that takes place in the mind, but it can be affected by things outside. It can be affected by tangible things. It can be affected by what you're hearing. It can be affected by what you're seeing. It can be affected by all of your other senses, the sense of touch, the sense of smell, right? It can be affected by your community, all right? I came up with my own definition, and what I came up with this with is that confidence is knowing that you are able to handle a problem or an opportunity, all right? Confidence, when we talk about ourselves, when we talk about getting to where it is that we wanna be, confidence is simply knowing that you are able to handle a problem or an opportunity, all right? And so I want us to be able to articulate that and I want you to know that and I want you to process that. What are the various opportunities and, and areas and problems that I want to be able to handle in my life? Okay, we're not just thinking abstract. We're not just talking about an abstract confidence, but 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 I want you to really think about it and don't just all right. So we're talking about implementing now. Let's let's move to implementation right now because we're going to talk about this in other videos. But I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and write down what are the areas in my life that I want to have confidence in. What are the different activities that I want to have confidence in? And if I want these things to happen, what will it require? What steps must I take in order to get there? And we're gonna talk about some of those in other videos, but I just want you to just start brainstorming about these things. And for those of you who don't have a starting point, I, list, I listed some things here that could help you. So, areas in my opinion that require confidence. Uh, those of you who are students and who are maybe in college especially, university, it, it requires confidence. Uh, dating requires confidence, right? Relationships require confidence. Uh, entering into a new job and it requires confidence. Uh, being in the gym, going to the gym, we talk about people and their confidence as far as their health and their body and their image. These things require confidence. Networking, okay? B- building relationships with people that can eventually take your life to another level, that requires confidence. Uh, public speaking, being in front of a camera like I am now requires confidence. Medical professions, right? If we if we go in, we want to be able to have confidence. If we if we have to go for surgery, we want to know that our surgeon knows what he is doing. Confidence. Parenting for those of us who are parents. Parenting requires confidence. Entering into a new community, right? Navigating new spaces. 
okay? Especially if we're talking about, for those of us who are African-American, or like, because I'm African-American, so that's the easiest space for me to talk about. When we enter into other communities sometimes, it can be a bit challenging and it can be, sometimes we might not be as confident because it, it requires for us to maybe speak a, a different kind of language. It requires to communicate in a way that we're not uh, as adept in communicating, okay? So I want us to start thinking about confidence, all right? I'm gonna do some more lessons. We're going to talk about why confidence is important. We're going to talk about, well, we kind of talked about why confidence is important a little bit here, but we'll go more in depth in the next video. And we're going to also talk about how do we gain confidence, all right? So this is Vaughn. Remember, average is failure. Challenge the greats, right? Challenge the great ones out there, right? I want you to go after their spot, all right? So that's it for me, man. I'll see you all on the next lesson.